again in the last video we tested the armor uh, out in game again and notice we had some uh, errors that strap still doesn't want to agree with us uh, so what we're going to do is actually change the vertex weighting uh, for that strap to remove its attachment to the arm uh, that way it'll be entirely associated with just the torso of the body uh, the reason for um, item weighting is item weighting assigns uh, a number between 0 and 1 a 0 being that it is not associated with a bone whatsoever and 1 being that it is 100 percent associated with a bone so each individual vertex uh, the close uh, de dependent on how close it is to a bone will assign a number between 0 and 1 it could be 0 0.5 to one bone and 0 0.5 to another bone meaning that that vertex floats in between the two bones so when the bone moves uh, it'll move with both of those bones at a 50 percent uh, amount alright so let's uh, open up 3ds max again as soon as you do go to import you're gonna wanna go to your uh, folder structure find your UMP custom armors go to data meshes armor hide female we're working in the test 2 section so click test 2 and select curious light underscore 0 and press open make sure all your settings are identical they should still be we definitely want a skeleton because this is a fresh import press import alright as soon as it's done importing uh, what we're gonna do is uh, deselect all and you want to select the armor hide well, uh, now we're going to go to the uh, modify next to create. So create, modify, select skin. And once you select skin, you're going to see this in perimeters at the very top. Now, if you're down here and this is what you see, you just grab anywhere in this section where you see a little hand come up. Grab it with your left mouse key and drag it down. Hopefully, you'll just see edit envelopes you wanna click on edit envelopes and you're gonna notice a change in the armor now the armor is going to show all the textures are gonna disappear and you're gonna get this color map what this color map basically means is uh, right up here if I zoom in to where this little circle is you can see that I have a bone selected this is the pelvis bone this here is another uh, left leg bone uh, right here is a bone on the back. These are the nodes. These are where the bones connect. This is also where the vertices are connecting themselves to. So this armor is connecting itself to that bone. Uh, everywhere where it's red would be like a 1 value. Where it's yellow would be more like a 0 0.7, 0 0.6, you know, and as you get out closer to where it goes to blue, it turns to 0 so these out here would be less associated with this bone so when this bone decides to twist or turn these vertices are not going to associate themselves with that bone as much as the ones in here with these ones would say okay we're this part of the armor is going to move more because this bone is moving and this part of the armor is going to move less because this bone is moving that's just a basic understanding this is how the armor decides to move when a bone moves in game now our problem was right up here in this area with this strap this strap right here keeps on attaching to this arm so what bones are on this arm well you have bones well in this skin there's only these two bones connected to the arm so it has to be one of these two bones that's that's causing this part of the mesh to move so what we want to do is go up here notice there's two one on top of the other one probably handles that it goes from front to left you know when the arm swings back and forth the other one probably handles when the arm goes up and down and they kind of work together to cycle the bone around we want to select one of them we'll just select the longer one kind of sideways one it's uh, also you can look here it's MPCR upper arm is the one we selected and we're going to kind of scope around and see if there's anything that's red or yellow you know and I don't really see anything there maybe in the front oh look at here this is not supposed to be yellow so that means that these vertices that make up this connection of the armor are connected to this bone so when this bone moves 
these vertices are going to move and it's going to cause all that stretching that you're seeing in game to happen and that's what skin is that's the whole concept of skin is to assign how vertices move when a bone moves so what we're going to do is we're going to unassign these vertices from this bone and to do that's very simple over here in the perimeter section you can see the select modifier what we're going to do is we're going to click vertices now again we want to make sure that we have MPCR upper arm selected. All right, make sure yours is the same as mine in this little window. There's a scroll wheel if you don't see it right off. You want to get to that and select it, then click uh, vertices. And we're going to go ahead, and since none of the armor really needs to be associated with this bone, we're going to kind of zoom in from the front view pane. We're going to use our selection tool you know by uh, left clicking on the screen and holding down dragging over and we're gonna make sure we center uh, this thing kind of all around that strap you know you can do it in any window you want doesn't matter now you can see because I did it that way I've selected all of these another way that you can select all of them is just by clicking front on the little box unclicking and dragging over like this and that'll select all those vertices as well it's another way of doing it it's just a simple way of uh, grabbing a hold of everything to make sure we can stop this movement from ever occurring. Now I'm going to, after all that's selected and I still have this bone selected, I'm going to grab this one. Remember I showed you you can grab it and move it around. And there's also a little scroll thing here that you can grab and move around. You want to grab that, drag it all the way down to the bottom, or you can grab the little window drag it all the way to the bottom and this is the weight properties. This is absolute effect. This is the effect that this bone has on these vertices. There's nothing there because we have multiple vertices selected or you'd see a number if we just clicked one vertice. What we're going to do is we're going to say zero to all these. It doesn't matter because we don't want this arm to move anything on the armor. So we're just going to grab this. Uh, we're going to type in a zero and you're going to press enter. Notice everything just went white. Now without selecting those vertices, we're going to leave those vertices selected and we're going to check the other arm bone by zooming in as close as we can get, centering over the other bone. Remember there were two of them here. We're going to check that one. Okay, now here's the first one we had selected. Here's the second one we had selected. In the window, that's MPCR upper arm twist is the one we have selected now. I'm going to zoom out. We're going to see if anything's yellow or reddish. Oh, this one too, see right there. It's kind of yellow. So when this bone moves in an upper form, you know, kind of moves towards the sky like she raises her hands, it's going to move this part of the arm. We don't really want that. We don't want it to move this belt at all. So with those vertices still selected and the weight properties under absolute effect, remember you can move this up and down if it's not on your screen. Just uh, go to absolute effect, type in zero, and press enter. Voila! This will no longer move when this arm moves. It'll be assigned directly to the body and you never have to worry about that again. This could have been done from the get-go. Uh, if you wanted to deal with that, you'd have probably had to select even more vertices because more of them would have been affected. Uh, and that's uh, you know one way to do it. Or you can just, we could have also, to fix this issue, gone back into the editable mesh, selected vertices, and then move this farther away and then deleted the skin, deleted the BS dismember skin modifier and reskinned it and re-put on the BS dismember skin modifier as we did in a previous tutorial. Or we can just do this and save ourselves a lot of time uh, since we've already moved it away a little bit to begin with. Another problem we had was down here in the skirt if you guys remember. Uh, when she crouches there was like this area on the armor uh, was kind of pushing down. Now to show you what I'm talking about, I'll deselect edit envelope so we can see the texture again. And it seemed like this part of the armor was moving. Now here's one of the problems and one of the issues, the big time issues with skirts uh, in Skyrim and the way the body uh, is initially set up in this pose. It makes it really hard for it to assign the uh, vertice weights. If we change these vertice weights in here, one of the problems that you're going to see is when she runs, this is going to move weirdly. Um, because uh, it takes an advanced uh, user and an, uh, of 3ds Max, it takes a fairly advanced skill set to be able to paint weights on on your own. Uh, 
uh, you have to go down here and paint weights and use a weight table and actually paint the weights on there uh, and that's a little bit beyond the scope of uh, a novice level tutorial that we're starting out with right now maybe in the future you know uh, which would be way down the road we'll actually play around with that and teach you guys how to use it but for now we're not gonna touch this because it looked decent in the game it was only when you crouch that you saw that and most of the time you're not gonna be looking up her skirt anyways you're gonna be playing the game trying to kill people and whatnot um, so for now, because we're dealing with a skirt, we're not going to mess with that. If we were dealing with like an undergarment or a pair of pants, no problem. We could tweak around in here and toy with this. But it's a skirt. It hangs over. It's not like a pants. You know, pants are assigned to a certain vertice. This is a skirt. A lot more complicated to deal with those vertices. So we're not going to touch it. We're going to take what we have here. We're going to test it one more time in game to make sure that this strap is no longer messing around. If it's not messing around, what we're going to do is we're going to finalize this armor. We're going to come back in, weld some vertices together, uh, create a weight slider, actually make this work on any body size that you have for the UMP body, and get it running in game. Uh, once we're through with that, uh, we'll talk about our next steps for the tutorial because you'll then know the basics of creating armors. Uh, by working with just this one and getting the weight slider working, we can go ahead and let's uh, you know create something brand new that's never been seen before in Skyrim. You know, but uh, let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm gonna save this uh, armor. We're gonna go up in the upper left-hand corner, select the 3DS icon, go down to export. We're gonna find our file structure again, which is UMP custom armors. Data, meshes, armor, hide, female. Don't save over test 2 in case you screwed up during this part of the tutorial. I want you to right click anywhere in this window, create a new folder, and call it test 3. Now we're going to, before we go into test 3, like we did before, uh, the last time we're going to save as type, we're going to drop this down, go to NIF files, select curious light underscore zero so the name gets put into the file name and then go into test 3 and actually save it in the test 3 folder Click save make sure we get rid of these weld vertices we don't want to weld anything all your settings need to be the same as mine and press export give it a second as soon as it's done go ahead and minimize uh, and uh, remember we already had these windows open but if you didn't again I'll close them to show you UMP custom armors this is where our custom armor is we're gonna go data meshes armor hide female test 3 there's our armor that we just modified and you're gonna double click the female shortcut drag it off to the left and we're gonna select the test 3 select curious light underscore zero hit control copy which is control C and control paste which is control V and then place copy and replace want to replace it yes and we're good to test it out in game we fix this arm now bet it's fixed no more problems with the arm BAM look at that it's beautiful it's not moving it's staying right with the body just like it's supposed to now we covered two different ways in this tutorial just now one was to move stuff away from problem areas and another was to just go in and completely delete uh, the vertexes from that bone so now it's fixed we can see it's not doing anything we don't want to and once again like putting my weapon away running forward the front side of the armor looks fine it's just a skirt I'm not gonna worry about that for this tutorial so uh, we can get into creating weight sliders and get finished with this armor so we can actually move on to creating something brand new never before seen you know a uh, uh, brand new armor these are the basics this is what you need to learn to get into the more advanced armor creation and actually make your own custom armors so again that's the end of this uh, video and I'll see you for the next video where we work with weight sliders